Good morning, afternoon, or evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nathan Sims, and I've made this presentation for you called AMD and Mass Luminosity, a Marketing Partnership for the 21st Century. Uh, you know, I've been PC gaming for about 23 years now, ever since I was 9 years old. This is first photo is me building a Phenom 19850 system back in 2008. And then this is an 11, no, this is a 1090T system, and that's an 1100T system, and this is me sitting in front of my current setup. This is my brother in front of his current setup down in Dallas, Texas, and his daughter, Genesis, who's five years old, playing Skyrim, heavily modded, I might add, on his Crossfired 6850s. Um, I'm just a member of Mass Luminosity. Um, in no way affiliated with their company other than liking their Facebook page and being on Angel's friends list. There's a quote, if the water becomes shallow and you're a whale, you're going to get grounded and you'll die. If the market goes down by 50%, it's awfully dangerous if you're a whale. Now this was made by Roy Taylor, AMD's VP of Channel Sales in a recent interview. And he's right. In fact, IDC Insights research uh, reported just recently that uh, quarter 1 2013 PC shipments were down 13.9%, which is the largest decrease since 2006, compared to the same period in 2012. I'm guessing PC gamers have missed the memo. John Petty Research has reported some pretty encouraging information related to PC gamers' hardware spending habits. First. Enthusiast PC gamers embrace content creation and modding, so when titles like Bohemia Interactive's Arma 3 are in the pipeline, they see anticipatory hardware sales. In fact, they're estimating over $800 million of PC builds influenced primarily by Arma 3, which is an AMD evolved title. Um, a major component of this situation is that many games are placing increasing demands on the CPU. Second, John Petty research analysts are forecasting continued growth in the global PC gaming hardware space for more than $18.3 billion in 2012 to more than $20.7 billion in 2016. The president of JPR said, not only is gaming becoming an even more important purchasing influence of PC sales due to the offloading of more basic functionality to smart devices, but they're actually forecasting growth in the most expensive discrete graphics products. Now this first graph shows that 68% of gamers are gaming on their consoles, but next to that 63% are on the PC. And if you look at the global games market per screen, a full 40% of people do their gaming on a computer screen, and it makes up for $27.6 billion of the $70.4 billion gaming industry. That's important to know because by region, the largest two markets are North America and Asia Pacific, and only 4% in Latin America. Now that's kind of an interesting statistic, which means there's lots of room for growth in Latin America, and even in the Asia-Pacific market, there's plenty of room for growth. If we look at the world internet usage statistics, uh, you know, there are 2.4 billion internet users uh, as of 2012, and we've seen a 566% growth in internet usage since 2000. Uh, the biggest growth, of course, is in Africa, the Middle East, Asia, and Latin America. Uh, you know, the penetration is still low in those regions, and you could see potential growth in those areas. It's interesting to note that because of Facebook penetration growth between 2011 and 2012 is largely in those areas. Now, what's that mean for... AMD and mass luminosity? Well, if you look at the top participating countries in mass luminosity, they're Indonesia, Pakistan, Egypt, Mexico, India, the US, the Philippines, Peru, Brazil, and Argentina. Now, of those 10, a full seven of them are in the Asia and South America region. Egypt's in the Middle East region, which would be considered part of the African Middle East region. So, Eight of ten of those are in your biggest growth market regions. 
And what about mass luminosity? Well, from July 2012 to July 2013, it grew from about 197,000 members to over a million. That's an increase of 810,000 users, or a growth rate of 411%. Now, this is important because recently the second role of social media is enabling customers to talk to one another. It's an extension of traditional word-of-mouth communication, and its uniqueness really lies in the magnitude of the communication. Instead of someone like me or you telling a few of our friends, hey, this 7970 I have is an awesome card, I highly recommend you get it, or my AMD 9590 FX processor is blowing everything out of the water, they now have the ability to tell hundreds or thousands of other people with a few keystrokes. Uh, it's part of this report called Social Media, the new hybrid element of the promotion mix. Now that's interesting because really with one click, any of Mass Luminosity's 1 million members can, and they frequently do, share Mass Luminosity status updates. And this exponentially increases your advertising penetration at no cost to AMD. Now that's interesting because Mass Luminosity reaches about 4.5 million people a week, and their gaming tribe has 147,000 members, and they do user reviews of products. They have 56,000 active users on their gaming tribe app. Now, of those statistics, we went and looked at you know who has the market share of gaming tribe users, and under processors, we see you know compared to the the average market, 41%. Of, our, of their users are AMD processors. Now that's interesting because that's actually a quite a bit larger than the actual overall market, which means AMD is making an impact among gaming tribe members. And if we look over to the GPU side, it's, it's amazing, but AMD actually has a lead which isn't in the overall market, but is in the gaming tribe market. That means there has been a massive impact here. There's a correlation between these two things. And it's interesting because if you talk about advertising, let's be honest, it's all about the bottom line. It's the cost per production of that advertising. And if you look for a 30-second ad on national television, it'll cost you about $442,000, okay? The cost for one sponsored giveaway of an AMD FX9590 that advertises to the same or more of your consumers is $879. It costs 502 times more to advertise on TV to the same potential audience than it does to advertise with Mass Luminosity through a sponsorship. In fact, Mass Luminosity focuses on customers that have a product proclivity to spend money on processor and graphics components. Do you know of a television program which every viewer is a customer in your specific market? Well, somebody knows who somebody knows who all the customers in your specific market are, and that guy is Angel Munoz, okay? And he's working for you guys, and a partnership with him is probably the, one of the best marketing decisions that AMD has ever made. And as a community member, I want to encourage AMD to keep their partnership continuing in the 21st century with mass luminosity. It's not only going to benefit AMD, but it's going to benefit gamers and mass luminosity members everywhere that AMD is supporting such a great movement in advertising through social media. Appreciate your time, ladies and gentlemen, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.